It's 3 a.m. in a remote village in Ethiopia. A woman named Kumi is in labor. The nearest clinic is hours away, and her only choice is to deliver the baby on the dirt floor. Even though I grew up in Ethiopia, and I knew giving birth here was dangerous, nothing prepared me for seeing it firsthand. It's literally peach black in there. The thing is, every time a woman is delivering in a place like this, her chances of survival, I don't even know how you survive. <laughs> Not far from Kumi, a loving father named Alamu Amalo reads to his seven-year-old daughter, Amaraj. Just seven months ago, his wife hemorrhaged to death during childbirth. My wife was the love of my life, he said. Alamu now has to be both father and mother to his two little girls. He says he doesn't know what he's going to do. When a woman dies in childbirth, the whole family, the whole community feels the effect. And then there are the newborns. One in 32 babies in the developing world dies during the first month of life. <laughs> Dr. Mulu Alam Gassasa is a neonatologist in my hometown, Addis Ababa. She works seven days a week and sees thousands of babies a year. While giving a tour of the facility, she had to stop to resuscitate a baby girl, just 14 hours old. She was struggling to breathe. When asked the chances of the baby surviving, she held up her hand and said, zero. When you lose one, you cry. In spite of everything we are doing, it's not easy just to lose a life. But there are glimmers of hope. The Ethiopian government and global partners have recently launched new programs to provide pregnant women with prenatal care and clean and safe delivery. Because of those efforts, a trained birth attendant arrived in time to help Kumi deliver a healthy baby girl. She named her Idile, which means lucky day. If these efforts can grow, my hope is that one day soon, a healthy childbirth in my country will no longer be considered a stroke of luck. <laughs>